Creator Studio and Meta Business Suite are finally merging. I'm going to cover what this means for you if you manage pages for a business, and I'm going to explain the good and the not so great out of this new announcement. My name's Lowell Brown. I'm from Going Social, where we make the complicated out of social media marketing simple. Now, I usually come on here sharing some tips and tricks for you with different social media platforms, but today I've got a news announcement. Now, before we get into the news, I'd love it if you can answer in the comments and just type in if you've ever used Creator Studio or Meta Business Suite before. Just type in yes in the comments or no in the comments. Even better, if you manage a page for business on Meta or Facebook, as you may call it, just type in page in the comments below. Now let's get into that news announcement. So I logged into Facebook today and I was doing an update for a client and I noticed a big pop-up on my screen. I'm gonna show you now what those pop-ups looked like. Let me just switch over to that. And here we go. So the first that I saw basically just notified me that creator tools are moving to Meta Business Suite. And it directed you to go and switch to Business Suite. Now, typically I had logged in through um, Creator Studio. What I've noticed in the past is that some features were better in Creator Studio and some features were better in Meta Business Suite. Confusing? Yeah. So what does this mean now? Well, you're basically forced to go into Business Suite. There is a way to get back and it was a little tricky. I was able to do it today, but they basically are trying to move everybody over from Creator Studio to Meta Business Suite. And once you switch over to Meta Business Suite, you will get a second pop-up on that screen basically telling you, hey, welcome, you're in Meta Business Suite. And they go through explaining what's a little bit different. So all in all, I think this is good news. Why? Because it's been confusing up until now. There's two places where you could manage different features for your page if you run pages for business on the Meta platform. In addition, you can also control um, or, or post stuff to Instagram from Creator Studio or from Meta Business Suite. Now, it was confusing because people often didn't know where to go, which to use, what features are available in one over the other. So finally, after I think it's maybe been a year of having both of these around, maybe even longer, um, and, and times where they're updating things on both platforms, they're finally merging everything to one. This is good because it's going to eliminate some of that frustration. So that's the good news out of this. What's the bad news? Well, there is a little bit of kind of not so great news. I'm not going to say it's bad news. As you may know, if you've used Facebook in the past, things are buggy. There's all kinds of bugs. And I noticed that today. So in the past, one of the biggest uh, struggles that I've had even recently was I've used um, Business Suite to update or post a video to a client's page. And what I was noticing even last week and the week before when I had done this for a client was that the video wasn't actually being posted. I had to do it a couple times and I had to actually go then to the page to do the post. Why? I don't know. It's just Facebook being Facebook. What I did notice today though was it was a much smoother process. Again, the interface has changed. Things are moved around, so, so that's got a little bit of a learning curve initially, but I was able to post to the platform and things went out correctly. One caveat though, and here's the thing, normally, and this is just one little bug that I've noticed as of today. Normally when you do upload a video as a post to a page, you're given that option to create captions. And when you do create them, you'll see a little pop-up that once it's auto-generated, it wants you to review and approve them, making sure that you know any automated spelling errors or things like that are, are taken care of. This is all great. One of the things that I usually do when I upload a video is that I get those captions created and then I download them. Now, as of today, when I did post this morning to a client's page, I could not, I, I looked everywhere, I could not figure out how to actually download those captions. So this is just to show you that there are still some bugs and things that they are going to have to work out. And it is really, really frustrating because you would think that a platform that's as large, as robust, that's been around for so long, that has hundreds, thousands of developers working on it, would have all of these little bugs worked out. But no, 
they still happen. So that's one little bug. Yes, I'm venting about it, but if you've had problems like that before, feel free to post the bugs that you found in the comments. Um, it would be great to share that feedback with other people so they know that they're not just going nuts. Um, one other little bug that I noticed was in trying to post a video to Instagram. And I've had this problem for a while where while you have the ability to upload a video that should be posted to Instagram, you can go through the entire process, and this is what happened to me again today, went through the entire process, and I didn't do it. Now, when you do upload stuff, you can select, hey, upload it to Facebook, upload it to Instagram, or upload it to both. I usually have been doing them independently because there are some different features that are available per platform. Again today, and this has happened in the past, I went to post a video to Instagram, went through the whole process, it said it was uploading, said it would be posted, and nothing. That's right, it doesn't even post there. So the good news out of this announcement, and it is confusing, I even screw up when I say it, Creator Studio and Meta Business Suite are being merged. One tool so you'll know you have one place to go when you wanna upload content to your business page or to Instagram if it works, that you'll have that one tool where you can plan your content, you can post things, you can look at your engagement, you can answer your comments, all kinds of tools will be all in one place and that's good news. It'll eliminate some confusion. Again, there's gonna be some bugs, there's gonna be some hiccups, but that's it, that's the announcement for today. Once again, I'm Lowell Brown from Going Social, where we take the complicated and sometimes frustrating out of social media and try to make it a little more simple and easy so that we can all get business done. Stay tuned. I got another video coming up soon. Please remember to like and subscribe to this video so we can reach more people. And if there's anything that you, else that you'd love me to cover, just leave me a comment below. Thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Creator Studio and Meta Business Meets. I'm going to cover what this means to you if you manage businesses for...